<laughs> uh, just just a couple of quick points. I mean, you know, so I can see where people may uh, answer this, and and I will tell you, in an old an older individual, um, you know, I would maybe be more likely to to go anagrade just to protect the proximal femur. I could see that as maybe being a little bit more attractive of an option in this patient, this young patient, good bone. You know, I don't really need to protect the proximal segment as. Uh, as much the challenge with an anti-grade nail is that while it does provide you with an intramedullary um, point of stabilization, it doesn't help uh, control your alignment like a well-placed retrograde nail does, right? And so, you know, you're going to have to end that that nail at some point um, proximal to the physeal scar, and you know wherever you're going to end it in that distal segment. So, um, you know, a lot of the nails now do a good job of of giving you interlocks, but um, it it doesn't provide it's it's not equivalent with regard to the stability that it, that it provides uh, you know as compared to a, to a retrograde nail and it definitely doesn't help you know you you still could malalign this with an anagrade nail whereas if the start point on your retrograde nail is is well placed and well thought out that's going to actually help set your alignment uh, distally so just a couple of thought you know for people thinking through the answers uh, I think there are some good points.